Hey guys, today I'll be telling you the top 11 Pokemon mess ups with Nathan, my sidekick. Number 11, Magnemite. I have this Pokemon on my party only for one reason, and that is because it has its sturdy and it really comes in handy to revive my Pokemon. Now, you may be like, eh, the Pokemon isn't that bad. That's why we put it at number 11. But that Pokemon just doesn't ever blink, it just stares at you. It's kind of creepy. It's just yeah, it is. not and right. See, here's a picture of it, and look at it. It's just staring at you. Just like that. It never stops. Just, just never stops. It's just so messed creepy. up. So, as I was saying, uh, then number 10, Rock and Roll. I mean, it does have sturdy, it's rock type. But look at its attack, man, and what's up with its face? It's just, I don't even know why Grey Freak made it. They should have just had Bulldog as number one evolution and left it at that. So, number nine, Arbok. Arbok is, you know, that Pokemon that you think, hey, look at that poison snake. It isn't that bad, but it's ishy. It's, just, it's attacks down. It's messed up. Look at it. It's like and also, it's cobra backwards. I mean, if you <laughs> turn it around, it's cobra cobra backwards. That's messed up. So number eight now, Gastly. Gastly, stupid. Well, Gastly is okay, but on Heart Gold, all it does is give you a whole bunch of XP. Exp. It's stupid, and you know, normal types don't and fighting types don't affect it. You know, that's kind of cool, but it's just so weak. Uh, Ghastly, it looks stupid, too. And then Haunter and uh, Gengar are way cooler than Ghastly. So that's all I have to say about Ghastly, man. Number seven, Bayonet. Nathan will talk about this one. Okay. First off, I have learned about its Pokedex entry. Apparently, it was used to be a doll, which was thrown away by a child, and now comes back to haunt children and destroy them. Now personally, I think, what the crap game freak. This is the most disturbing Pokemon I have ever seen in my whole life. It's just messed up. Just scary. Just very scary. I don't know. It's given me nightmares before too. Just not right. Okay, number six, Helioptile. Nate will also talk about this one because I haven't really caught Helio Eptile yet. So, Nate? Yeah, it's second evolution's good, but... And, yeah, making a weak Pokemon for this other... For a stronger Pokemon is itchy. This Pokemon is just low stat, and it's it isn't the best up. thing. And it was, it's like a stupid lizard thing that just stares at you with a freaking messed up smile. It almost looks like one of those turtles. Its smile looks like one of the turtles off of... I mean, like Koopas off of Mario. Okay, and then number five, Genesect. You may be thinking, man, Genesect's really cool, but Grain Freak should have let us caught it normally in the game instead of having it a special day. So Genesect really... nobody, Almost nobody has Genesect, and it really doesn't do much. And then uh, number four, Keldeo. You may be thinking, why the heck would we put Keldeo on there? For one, he's only in black and white too, and it's the day to get him is already passed. You can only get him through global trades. But who would trade a super rare Pokemon unless you were getting like a Arceus or something? It's messed up, and Keldeo really doesn't have good stats or anything. Okay, number three, unknown. Duh! Just duh! This Pokemon really can only learn one move, and that is hidden power. Makes no sense. Why do you waste your time building this stupid Pokemon, make a big deal about it, but it's really like that. You can say, oh, look, this is an unknown. I gotta catch it. I gotta catch it. I gotta catch it. And then you catch it, and... It's just stupid. There's like a 300 
different types of unknown. In Pokemon Heart Gold, there's a maze, it's called the Ancient Ruins, and you have to get a whole bunch of unknowns, and it's really quite complicated, and I've never liked it before, it's just weird. So number two, Magikarp. Now everyone knows why we put Magikarp on here. First off, yeah, we talked about the Pokemon that should have been legendaries. I still think that that Magikarp shouldn't have even been a Pokemon. I think they should have just had Gyarados. Yep. And just been done with it. Okay. So now number one, Marie. You may think Magikarp should have been number one, but Marie doesn't do anything. All it does is paralyze you. Did you see its attack, defense, speed, everything else? It sucks. Once it evolves into the second evolution, it sucks. Its second evolution's just messed up. It's all shaved. And then third evolution, Amphrost. That's the only good one. I guess they were kind of saving up for us. So, that is the Pokemon mess ups. Ah, and that's Fresh Ram and Zekrom team. Nate and I, see you guys. We will make more videos, and I hope you guys were entertained. See ya.